I'm working on a set of small block Chevrolet cylinder heads for a subscriber, invisible one. We're doing a long block for them. We're going to be putting screw-in studs in it, new valve guides, installing some hardened seats in the exhaust, along with some high-performance stainless steel valves. Uh-oh. i got to figure out what happened. Oh, there it goes. That'll work perfect. <laughs> Hey everybody, happy Saturday, how are we doing? Hey, before I can do the stud work on these, I'm gonna have to glass beat them up so they're nice and clean. Oh, the phone's ringing, uh oh. Let me get it, hang on. Let's get off the phone. Boy, there was a bunch of crazy lights going on again. Let's see. Wow, look at that. They're all clean. Okay, I guess we'll go check that tape, huh? <laughs> There's no tape. I glass beat it up. I fooled you guys, didn't I? So these are matching factory cores. Not only they're 993s, but they were made one right after the other one. Look in this water jacket. See that B63? This head says B64. Now it's pretty rare for Chevrolet to mark them that way, but uh, this, these castings were marked that way. They also went through a production shop and were done by two different people and somehow went on the same engine. It's kind of incredible. I'll show you how I know. Here's where I can tell. Here's one head. Take a close look at them guides. Okay, got it? Now look at these guides. See the difference? So you guys can pause it if you want and put your answer down in the comments. See if you're right. Okay, here's the answer. The guy that did this head cared about his work and took pride in himself. And he spot faced these before he, he put the guides in. This guy didn't give a shit. Look at those things. It'll function just fine, but it just looks like shit. I'm gonna spot face those the best I can. It's still gonna have a little crumbliness to it, but it'll look a lot better. Hey, I was wrong about these things being cast at the same time, one right out the other. Hey, I was wrong about that date code inside. Uh, these heads were not cast one right after the other. Evidently that number was the inner mold, and they were made one after the other, but they were cast at different times of the day. So this head was made June of 71 on the 22nd, but so here's that casting over here is what I'm talking about See that clock this thing was made at, at noon And this had earlier in the day in the morning time. This doesn't have 12 hands like a clock. There's only 10 So they were made the same day, but at different times of the day, maybe even a different shift. I don't know It's kind of crazy that these heads went through a production shop uh, two different people doing each head, but then it went on the same engine. Typically in a production shop, they will, they, you know, they just do heads, do heads, and stack them and shelve them. Some production shops don't even care if they do the same casting number on cylinder heads. I worked at a shop like that, and I didn't like it, and I always tried to pair them up when they asked for heads. It took the time to do it. You know, and they just say, well, it doesn't matter. They're, up, they're both 194s. Well, they're not the same, and that's not right either. Let's get these screw and studs put in these things. Before I do anything, I'm going to fix the tops of these guides. So I'm just pushing these down out of the way. There you go. That'll look a lot nicer when I take them guides out. I'm going to take the guides out from the combustion chamber side. And I could have used a seal cutter on this, but I felt no need to beat it up. Now let's pull these studs. That absolutely served no function what I just did. But my name's going on this engine, and I want anybody thinking I did the guides like that. Hey, now I got it leveled to do the stud work. Okay, now we need some tools. The first thing I'm going to do is machine the bosses down with this. Then I'm going to pull them with my stud puller. I'm not doing that by hand. I'm going to power that socket with my machine. Then I'm going to drill them. Even though they're 3 eighths already, I'm going to chase the holes. And then I'm going to tap them. 7 sixteenths, 14. Then I'm going to eat some yogurt. So I got some place to put the tapping fluid. <laughs> I forgot. I got to chamfer them too before I tap them. Let's get going.
Gotta keep picking the tool up and let it breathe or else it'll get caught up in there. It fits the stud pretty tight. All done. There you go, that made a pretty big mess, didn't it? There you go, that's a lot better, huh? Hey, that cleanup was made possible by today's sponsor, Chip Be Gone. You should get yourself a can. <laughs> okay, we're ready to pull. I put a little bit of oil on all the studs, and I got the socket and the column. Okay, now this just screws down on there. Back it off one turn. The reason I said to back this off one turn is because as this nut is pulling the stud, this will slowly rotate and go down and jam and bind on that stud. It'll be hard to get out of the tool. So here we go. That's one. <laughs> this funky little adapter socket I made popped out of this jug. Okay, let's try it again. Damn, I even had some grip. So I made this adapter out of a, a, just an extension, it's not a socket. And I just hand job some, some little flats on it. They're not precision at all, and it just popped out, came loose. No big deal. Okay, the next step is to knock off that sharp edge with this jamper. Or no, actually, no it's not. Here's the next step. See those little edges there? We gotta get those precisionly uh, removed, like this. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm not gonna measure this. I didn't even measure these heights of these pedestals. I just, I just cut them. I know how to cut them. Got it before. Here we go. There you go. Well, there's not very many chips here at all. There you go. Get some, I'm telling you. Now I'm just going to drill them all three eighths. They go through the water. Okay, I'm ready to tap. These exhausts go all the way through the water and I don't have to worry about stopping the tap when it goes through. The intakes, um, they also go through the water, but then at the bottom of them is the in top of the intake port. So I can't pass all the way through. I might have to bottom tap these by hand. The tap's gonna slip a bit. Um, that's okay, it's better than it busted. So here we go. That's going to slip a lot. Let me tighten it. Hang on. Okay, now I really tightened it. You don't want to make it too, too tight. You want it to slip. Here we go. Now, the more I use this, the hotter it gets, it'll grip better. There you go, they're ready for the studs. Now I'm not putting guide plates on these. I'm gonna let the factory uh, slotted push rods hold them. It's got a really small cam. If it had a great big cam, we'd put plates on it too. Let me get the other head in here. Hey, I got the second head in here and I realized I didn't show you how I level this head. I just use the level I use when I'm putting in guides and seats. But don't use it this way. It won't work. I'm not gonna tell you how I do it. I can't give away all my secrets. Hey, I'm not gonna film this head. I'll just show you every step after I'm done with it. So here we go. There you go, they're milled down. Now let me spray them clean. There you go. And now for another great product by the same company. Studs be gone. <laughs> sorry, I can't help it. I'm not sorry. Here we go. There you go. Simply amazing, isn't it? The company is currently out of stock on their uh, tapping spray. So I'm gonna have to tap it myself. Champered. Drilled, and now they're tapped. 
but there's one more thing I got to do before I call this stud job done. There's a little lip right here that my cutter didn't reach. I don't have to cut it off there, but obviously I'm going to, right? Yeah, I've already said goodbye, but I, I time traveled here uh, before I show you that uh, edge that gets knocked off of there. Uh, I time travel around. It's just something I can do. <laughs> Anyways, it, uh, the second head took me 32 minutes to machine. Uh, start to finish. The first head took about two hours with filming. So, man, it takes a lot of time to film, but I don't mind doing it. I, I really like it, actually. So here we go. Let's check out that uh, edge that's gone. There you go. I just knocked that off with a right angle grinder. Set of screw-in studs on small block Chevrolet heads. On the next video, I'm going to be putting valve guys and hardened exhaust seats with a 1-6 stainless steel exhaust valve. So we're going to be putting ARP studs in these. are a great stud. If you have a small block and have any kind of cam, well, of course you have a cam, don't you? <laughs> I don't build an engine with these press-in studs. I just don't do it. They can just, just suck out for no reason. Then you got bad problems on your adjustments. Hey, I did a video on pulling studs. Uh, if you're trying to do it at home in your car, there's a link down in the description uh, to that video showing you how you can get your studs in and out uh, by yourself in the car. You say there's a link in the description. There can't be a link yet, right? Well time travel it's already there check it out you guys have a nice night okay be nice to each other i'll be back in here tomorrow i got some uh, yamaha marine heads i'm going to be surfacing i've never seen a set of them kind of kind of weird looking heads so i think you'll enjoy that also bye